Ghana's main airport, the Kutuka International Airport, has been closed to passenger flights since March 2020 as part of measures to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus in the country. This means it's been almost five months since the decision was taken. The impact of this has been enormous on various sectors of the economy, including the aviation industry, which was entirely grounded. Already, data from the International Air Transport Association on the state of the global air transport industry shows that airlines are expected to lose $84.3 billion in 2020. But most countries have already started easing restrictions, and this has brought more attention to the industry as they have begun to formulate plans towards reopening the borders. In Ghana, President Akufuado, in his 15th address to the nation on the country's fight against the novel coronavirus pandemic, stated that there are ongoing engagements by the aviation and health ministries, as well as other stakeholders, to assess the country's readiness for air travel on 1st September. This has begged the question, what will airfares be like? As a result, City Business News sought the views of some operators in Ghana's travel and tour industry. Prices, I believe, during the first week, and that is if, if, um, if the Ministry of Health and the Aviation um, Ministry are able to iron things out, as the President said. During the first week, I believe it's going to be a bit on the high side, and then subsequently it may drop. You could see a lot of people were caught in the, in the lockdown situation. So there are people who want to rush back and I mean, I go back to work and other people need to connect with families and the rest. So checking the prices now, it looks like the first week looks a bit expensive in anticipation. I mean, in the event that it doesn't work, they are going to reschedule them up to a time that the borders would open. Yeah. So what does Accra London look like? Accra London on the 1st of September. I mean, as I was checking this morning, it's about a thousand eight um, pounds. Yeah, so I think it's quite on the high side. What I foresee now is that the prices of the uh, tickets may shoot up a little bit. I don't know if they're still going to go along the same old routine of the seasons. Because if they're going to go according to seasons, this is usually high season. Uh, the summer months are usually high season. So usually the airline tickets are slightly higher than the winter months, which is like from January to May or probably April. Then the prices start going up. Uh, if they are following the same sequence, then I believe that, yes, the prices may go up. But if not, in order to entice more uh, more passengers onto each air, airline, they may do some discount, but I don't foresee that happening uh, because of the regularity of the flight, the number of people they'll be getting. I think prices may just go a, a little bit for them to also cover up their costs. But for CEO of Country Links Travel and Tour, Joyce Obing, whose customer base is the traders in Abosokai, she will not pass the full cost to her clients. Most of the airlines, they give commission. So um, because we also uh, want the better for our clients, we are not going to increase anything, yes. Because we want them to come and travel. Um, country links, for instance, my customer base is the traders. Abosokai, Spare Pass, Kumasi Magazine, the Cantamanto, you know so they want to travel now some of them they don't have goods to sell they have to go to korea china dubai and bring their goods so we need to slash the fares for them so that they will be happy